when you go on a date with someone and they look great on paper and you expect the date to go really well, but unfortunately, when you go on the date and come back, you feel this sense of grave mismatch between what you expected to feel on the date and what you actually felt because you had a really sort of intense, heated conversation where you discovered a wild difference in ideologies or thought processes and you thought, oh my God, that's a red flag because this person has these certain views that are so contrarian to mine and I don't know if this person is right for me, right? These views could be about race, uh, about sex, about caste, about politics, right? They could be wildly different from yours and that may make you feel attacked in some sense or might make you feel like this person isn't as evolved as you or has very strong opinions that you may find difficult to live with and so on. Now, if these views about yourself are super important to you and you feel very strongly about the views that somebody else has, then, you know, that's great. There may be genuine red flags and, you know, you may never be able to live with a person like that and that's totally fine. But if at some corner of your mind, you are thinking, hey, was that really a red flag or should I give this person another chance to, you know, see if it goes somewhere because maybe I overreacted, maybe you ended up having a conversation that kind of blew out of proportion. If at any corner of your mind, you have an inclination of doubt, then how do you find out if, you know, it was a genuine red flag or maybe you were overreacting about the situation? One way to do this is to ask yourself, whatever you guys discussed and disagreed about, how does that impact your relationship? Do you see that having an impact on your relationship on a day-to-day -day basis? Or do you think over a period of time, you could agree to disagree, right? You will not agree to disagree on day one because you are two different individuals who don't know each other, who have, who have absolutely no need to agree to disagree with each other. You can each go your own ways, right? Now, when you know very clearly what you value in a relationship and what are the important aspects of a relationship for you, you will be able to assess better if this particular discussion you had would have a bearing on your relationship or not. Um, I'll give you an example. Maybe someone is sexist. Maybe someone is homophobic or is xenophobic. And all of these things might matter a lot to you. Um, in which case, you want to really ask yourself, how are you both doing in terms of your individual exposures? Have you had a lot more exposure because of which um, you are a lot more open-minded? Has this person had any exposure in life? Um, and are they behaving the way they behave because of lack of exposure? Or are they behaving this way because that's just who they are, right? Now, the one thing that I've found is a lot of people may not have left India and they may not have been exposed to other races and they may have... Uh, opinions about race based on their social conditioning, based on what they've seen around, in which case you have to see if they are open to having a different view given more exposure. Now, if they don't seem like somebody who've changed their opinion about things, anything in life, not just race or caste, uh, despite having exposure, then that's worth dropping, right? This person may not change, this person may not grow, they may not evolve even after you are in a relationship with them. But if you see that the difference in your views is because of exposure, you could still give them a chance if you want to. But if you feel like, oh, this is not the kind of um, attitude or worldview that I ever even want to deal with, then, you know, this video makes no sense for you. This video is only if you have an inclination of doubt as to whether you made the right judgment about this person based on one meeting. Now remember, at the end of the day, it all depends on how you learn in a social setting, right? Are you somebody who makes a judgment to begin with 
and tries to uh, correct that judgment over time? Or are you somebody who gives people the benefit of doubt in the beginning and then over a period of time makes a judgment? right? Depending on how you generally process and learn in a social setting, I would recommend that you allow yourself the same process even in this particular situation. I hope this was helpful. I understand that this is quite a heated or um, a controversial sort of topic where people have very strong opinions and everyone is entitled to their own opinion. But if at any point of time you have an inclination of doubt, a good way to start thinking about how to give yourself the benefit of doubt is by asking yourself whether this is important for you. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, I'll see you next week.